Ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to believe this, but they want to indict Trump again for having relations with Stormy Daniels and, and, an, and a non-disclosure agreement she signed. And they're going to try to link that to his tax returns in some way. So the Manhattan D District Attorney is probing Trump's Stormy Daniels, which can be interpreted in very bizarre ways also. But hit subscribe to this channel, ladies and gentlemen. Check out the segment prior to this one. There's a recount in Arizona for Abe Hamaday. Very, very important. And there are other recounts as well. So check that one out. Hit subscribe to my um, new Patreon. So if you want to support my work long-term, ladies and gentlemen, via Patreon, your support is greatly appreciated. That's below in the description section. And it will be below in the pinned comment as well. And if you want to give a super thanks, the super thanks is below. So New York Magazine, Manhattan DA, brag, reportedly probing Trump Stormy Daniels. New York Times, Manhattan prosecutors moved to jumpstart criminal inquiry into Trump. They're desperate. They have nothing. They know that the walls are closing in on them. And you can just... Look, Business Insider, Stormy Daniels explains in her new book why she signed the infamous non-disclosure agreement. She signed in a non-disclosure agreement. She signed a document stating that she would engage in a certain activity and not talk about it. Okay? So nobody was forced to do anything. Now, because it was not viewed as a campaign finance violation, neither, like, Mueller couldn't find any campaign finance uh, laws broken. Nobody could with Stormy and the NDA. Michael Cohen, actually, who was convicted of crimes that had nothing to do with Trump, actually crimes of his own, linked to taxi medallions, was the person who uh, who actually worked with Stormy to have her sign the NDA. And... They couldn't find anything, so they can't find anything in terms of ha mishandling classified data, so they're going to have a, a special prosecutor, a special counsel. Okay, so they don't really have anything left to go after Trump on. He's not going to get indicted, almost certainly. If they indict him, he'll win in the court of law. But they're waiting for either a plea deal from Hunter or an indictment, which would be very bizarre. Because Hunter... It's too close to Joe. In terms of an indictment, um, the DOJ should have already indicted Hunter. His emails show clear violations, graft, bribery schemes. The best offense, though, is the same reason that they didn't indict Hillary. Comey said there were laws broken, but no reasonable prosecutor would indict. You can watch the short on this channel. And watch the latest short also, ladies and gentlemen. Republicans should thank God for Donald Trump. But... You look, and it's like, they couldn't find anything with January. He didn't incite or compel people to commit crimes. They couldn't find anything with the Mueller probe. They couldn't find anything in Georgia, him pressuring officials. They couldn't find anything in New York with his tax returns. Now they're going back and reliving failed investigations. They don't have anything on the man. He's the most investigated. Like, the, the Clintons, up until recently, were the most investigated people, but they actually did commit crimes. Clinton could have been indicted also for the, uh, there was a travel gate issue where I think she committed perjury. Bill Clinton committed perjury also. What is his? Oh, I never had relations. Yeah, he lied under oath. That's a crime. Okay, he lied under oath. He did have relations. The problem is he didn't have an NDA. <laughs> or, <laughs> or I don't even know. The problem was he was in the Oval Office. And then they call Trump adulterous. It's like, hello, hello, look in the mirror. Democrats are the best at throwing stones when they live within glass houses. But they don't understand, like the average, wonderful, morally superior, highly educated Democrat doesn't understand hypocrisy. They don't see like, politics is a dirty game. Some people, some political, um, so, some political machines are dirtier and shadier and nastier than others. So Bush, Cheney, and Rumsfeld, um, they were the epicenter of corruption within uh, American politics 20 years ago. All of those people are now um, within um, 
the Democratic Party. Interestingly enough, ladies and gentlemen, on a side note, there's a Democratic strategist who writes for a liberal publication who tweeted out something very similar to the despicable, disgusting viewpoint expressed by um, a personality who now now has to give a trillion dollars in uh, order to give a trillion dollars. Okay. Um, regarding a, an atrocity and, and, a, and a horrific tragedy that took place years back. So, this, dem this strategist, this Lincoln Project Democratic strategist tweeted uh, something very similar to the sentiment that led to a billion or however much money this pundit was ordered to pay for his views on an atrocity. It's interesting how Democrats ignore the people within their own sphere of influence, so to speak. How those people can get away with the most disgusting sentiments. But apparently, it, they live within a world, like this morally relative world. So Hunter can engage in deviant conduct. You have his emails, you have his videos, you have his pictures, you have the money flow, 150 suspicious financial transactions. You have all of that. You have all of that. But you have a system, along with Never Trumpers, that protect... Um, I, I should say this. I love the New York Post, even though I disagree with them on their stance against Trump. But at the, at the end of the day, they would, they'll endorse Trump over mashed potato brains or Hillary. I think Hillary's going to run. God bless her. She should run. I think she will. Can I tell you something? When she runs, just remember, I have been telling you for the past one million years that she was going to run. But anyway, um, I don't even know what I was saying. The bottom line is um, you have a situation where they're going after Stormy. They're going after Trump. They're going to try. They're going to try to indict him because he had relations with Stormy. And um, he didn't disclose the NDA in his tax returns. It was, what, a hundred grand that he gave her? So, I mean, the whole, the whole issue here is that you are, they are desperate. They despise Trump so much and they're desperate to get him, even the never Trump. People are desperate to get him out of politics. The funny thing is, Liz Cheney, this is the ironic, sad, hypocritical thing. Liz Cheney voted alongside Trump 92% of the time. So why doesn't she back Trump? She doesn't back Trump because his foreign policy is the antithesis of Lincoln Project foreign policy. He wants to negotiate with people before they invade a country under... Uh, mashed potato brains as watch. And so, you have a situation, ladies and gentlemen, where everything bad that could have taken place, that was supposed to have taken place under Trump's administration, is taking place under Biden's. Invasion in Europe, recession, we're going to have layoffs, unfortunately. All, like, all of Silicon Valley that voted desperately, like they, were, they were obsessed with taking down Trump. They're now experiencing the repercussions. Be careful, be careful what you wish for. You wanted no Trump. Well, now you have mashed potato brains and, and the tech sector is like the canary in the coal mine. It usually isn't. It's usually the other way around, blue collar jobs, but now the tech sector is foreshadowing what's going to take place. Now you have Amazon laying off your thousands and you have thousands and thousands in different... Um, other technology companies getting laid off. And mo the majority of these people wanted Trump out of the Oval Office. But they, this wasn't happening with Trump in the Oval Office. So whatever, all the things that I said in the stock market crash channel or the Bitcoin, what did I tell everybody? I mean, below, I mean, let me. you can watch, if you're new to this channel, watch the first the, the segment that you see, the pop-up. It's me predicting the, the, the market crash, the economic decline. Again, I'm not Nostradamus, but a lot of the things that I've said have taken place. And um, sometimes I get it wrong, but a lot of the time, most of the time, I do get it right. Nothing will come of this. 
except even more an even more hilarious outcome. Stormy Stormy was once ordered to pay three hundred grand to Trump. Then, like it was, then I think he has to pay some to, uh, some of her legal fees. Then he she, or she has to pay some of the legal fees. Who knows? The bottom line is they're not going to indict Trump on this. It's so funny. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Thanks.